Hello everyone, and I welcome all of you to online study for you a complete placement solution. Friends, this is Pratik Srivastava here, and in our today's video, I am going to solve Infosys previous year questions. Friends, as you know, your Infosys exam has to begin, and this problem is definitely going to help you to understand what kind of questions you are going to encounter in the examination so friends please watch the video till the end because i'll be discussing very important problem as part of your infosys examination so let us start with the question number one so friends in question number one we need to find out this missing values right okay so first we need to understand the trend so this is puzzles question you can also say number puzzles question okay so this you can also say this is this question is from number puzzles right okay so you need to find out this missing number here so for finding out that missing number we need to find out the pattern so what they have done they have multiplied the diagonal numbers right so 5 into 3 5 into 3 will be 15 and then they have multiplied 6 with 4 so 6 into 4 will be 24 so 15 plus 24 is nothing but 39 friends for number puzzles you might have more than one logic for a particular question so if somebody is able to get some different logic so there is nothing uh, different here right so because for number puzzles you'll be having multiple solutions for one question that means multiple logics for one question okay then here you need to multiply 2 into 5 and then 5 into 4 so diagonal number is 5 4 2 5 so it will be 10 and plus 20 that is nothing but your middle number is 30 right here your middle number was 39 same thing here 5 into 4 plus 6 into 8 so this will be 20 and plus 48 will be nothing but 68 so answer for this particular question will become option d 68 right okay now friends question number two if you'll see so this is also a question from the infosys and friends the examination had happened on september 20 that means last year 20 right and that is a question what we have taken here so the number substituted in each cell of a particular column must be unique and should add up to the number given in the topmost cell of the corresponding column so what they are telling so friends whatever numbers you are going to fill here right suppose you fill one two three then here it should be three so suppose if you have 23 here then we need to fill it like this nine six eight definitely some heat and trial is required so 9, 6 is 15 and 15 plus 8 will be what? 23. So that is what is the meaning of the first line. Okay. So whatever you are putting in the column, it should add and give you 23. Okay. Now, like friends, what is the second point here? The number substituted in each cell of a particular row must be unique. So friends, here you see 9, 6 and 8. It is unique. All three numbers are unique, right? unique means it should not be repeated see somebody could have written sir 9 and uh, you need well, how much 23 right so 14 so 977 7, right but this will become same so you do not have to put that right so all the numbers should be unique okay now what they're telling the number substituted in is sale of a particular rows okay must be unique and should add up to the number given in the first cell of the corresponding row so suppose this is row now right column we have done so here it is 17 so 8 is already there here we will place 9 so 8 plus 9 will become what 17 right 8 plus 9 will become what 17 so this is how we have to do the numbers to be used are from 1 to 9 so you do not have to use 11 12 13 so you have to use from 1 to 9 so in digit single digit okay determine the number that will be present in place of what so basically you need to find out this what okay so this we have filled now the second one we will try to complete so here i will put 8 and here i will put 7 so 15 plus 9 will be 24 right okay now here 3 so friends uh this rows two rows we have done now this column we will complete so 6 plus 7 will be 13 and 13 plus 2 will be 15 and if we'll put two here then definitely one will have to put it here because two plus one will be three now friends the question is that if this is 25 then what will be the value here so nine plus eight is 17 17 plus one is 18 
and 18 plus 7 will be what 25 so the value which will be here is nothing but 7 so answer for this particular question will become 7 right so you have to do some heat run trial and then you have to fill it here and you will be definitely able to get the correct answer okay so 7 will be the correct answer here then friends find the next number in this particular series so this is 8 and this is 24 and 12 and then 36 and then 18 and then 54 so friends what i could see from here is multiplied by 3 right and then this is nothing but division right so 24 if we we'll divide by 2 it will be 12 then again multiplied by 3 and then again divide by 2 and then again multiplied by 3 and then again it will be divide by 2 so divide by 2 will be 27 right so 27 will be what 54 so the answer should be a numeric value so in infosys also you will be getting multiple choice questions and you will be getting fill up in the blanks so answer for this question will be 27 and that is what you have to put it here so this was a question from number series so number puzzles okay these two are number puzzles this is number series and again you have a question from number puzzles okay now friends in the following question a figure carrying certain number is given assuming that the numbers in the figure follows a similar pattern find out the missing number so friends what you have to do you have to find out the logics and then you need to find out the answer here see many people will tell sir last five then four then three then two and they will take the answer four which is wrong see you need to find out the logic on a certain logic this questions works okay now so friends 17 plus 8 is what equal to 25 so i added the first two number and then i could see 25 will be nothing but 5 into 5 okay then 13 plus 7 so 13 plus 7 will be 20 and this 20 will be nothing but 5 into 4 right so this is 20 20 is what factor of 5 4 then 6 plus 12 will be what 18 and this 18 will be 6 into 3 that is also correct okay then then we will be having 10 plus 6 so 10 plus 6 will be 16 and here it is 4 then definitely we need to multiply by 4 and then only we will be getting then only we will be getting 16 so there should be a logic for all questions and then only it will be correct okay so friends question number four option one will be the correct answer so here you need to fill four do not go with this logic this is not logic this is just your assumption which is not true then friends question number five so friend question number five you can say this is a sitting arrangement problem okay so this is a sitting arrangement problems or you can also say so this is a problem from the puzzles okay now so friends this you need to understand read it and then only you will be able to solve it so six boys a b c d e f are sitting in a row so there are six people are there okay so i will make uh, the six lines here three four five six okay so six boys a b c d e f are sitting in a row not necessarily in the given order there is only one magazine that gets circulated from the first to the sixth person the first person being at the extreme left so this is your first person and this is the sixth person and the magazine is getting distributed like this right the magazine is getting distributed like this okay one can hand over the magazine only to a person who is sitting next to him so b suppose b will be able to pass the magazine only to the person sitting next to him so suppose next to b if e is sitting then b will be able to pass the magazine only to e b cannot pass the magazine to the previous person and b cannot pass to the person sitting uh, two places or three places away from b okay just next to so next to b is nothing but e so b will be able to pass the magazine only to e okay the following are some of the points about the group okay friends i will tell you how do we basically solve the question so whatever is the direct information has been given to you first we will place it and then we will go for the indirect informations see c sits first in the row so this is a direct information i will place it here right so c sits first in the row so this is first and c is sitting here okay then uh, b cannot take 
paper from C. Okay. D cannot take A cannot hand over the paper to anyone. Now, this is also a direct information. So this is direct and this is direct. A cannot hand over the paper to anybody. Why A cannot hand over the paper to anybody? Because A is sitting at the end and A is not A cannot pass magazine to anyone. So that is the reason they are telling A cannot pass cannot hand over to anyone. Okay, then. Okay, any other uh, okay D is sitting at third position. So one, two, three. So D is sitting here at the third position. So this is also a direct information. Okay. Now this many information are direct to us. Now we do not need that direct information because we have already got to know. Then B cannot take the paper from C. So if B cannot take the paper from C, then it is very clear B is not sitting next to C because whoever uh, you know can pass the paper to someone who is sitting next. So B will be either sitting here or B will be either sitting here, but we do not know the place it. Okay, fine. D cannot take the paper from C. Anyway, D is sitting at the third place. So D cannot take the paper from C. That is also done. D does not pass paper to A. So D is, does not pass paper to anyway. A is not next to D. So D will anyway not pass. F cannot pass paper to D. So if F cannot pass paper to D, that means definitely F is not sitting here because if F will sit here, then F will pass the paper to his next person that is D. So F is also not sitting here. So definitely X, F will be either sitting here or here. The place is not decided. Okay. Now, so B either B will sit here or F either B will sit here or F. Now what is remaining with us? The remaining with us is nothing but E. So definitely E will be. So definitely E will be sitting at the second position. So if D is sitting at third position, then E will be sitting at the second position. I hope this will be clear to you. So friends, these problems are not tough. The only thing is you need to understand it. However, I'm solving the same logic you need to apply and then you need to uh, use it. And definitely friend, trust me, you will be easily able to solve it. Now, friends, question number six. Question number six is a similar question. Okay, so question number six is a similar question friends and if you solve this then the puzzle questions you'll be easily able to solve it. So friends, I will give you time till 9 p.m. tonight. So this will be a, your homework. So what you have to do you need to solve this and then you have to comment below. So whoever come answers will be correct. I will like that answer and by 9 p.m. I will be also uploading the solution for this particular problem in the comment box itself. Okay, so you can verify uh, your answers at 9 p.m. But before that, I request everyone to solve however I have done. So first try to get this three, four, five, six. So first try to get that all the definite information. Once you get the definite information, then you will be easily able to get the answer. Trust me, right? So friends, summer is everywhere. So you can see. Oh, I'm switching as well. Okay, no problem. But Infosys is more important. Students are more important for me than anything else. Okay, now, so question number six, everyone, please try to solve. Next is data interpretation question. Okay, so questions are based on the data given below. Which of the following items accounts for the maximum expenditure during 1977 to 1981? Right? Okay, so friends, expenditure during 1972 to 76 expenditure during 1977 to 81. So this is the uh, the open, right? So this is the field one and this is a not filled one, right? Okay, so this is the expenditure during 1977 to 1981. So they are asking which of the following items accounts for the maximum expenditure during this years. So we could see. So what is the gap here? So 12 to 35. So the gap is 15. Okay. And then anyway, housing is there in the option. Okay. Then allowances. So allowances, you will see. So this is uh, five and five to 10. So what is the expenditure here? Expenditure is only five. Okay. Then salaries. So salaries, you will see this is 20 and this is nothing but 50. So total expenditure is 30 here, right? And the data will be definitely given in either thousands or uh, maybe crores. We will see. And then uh, clothing, right? So clothing is here. Clothing is here. So 10 and 30. So 10 and 30, the expenditure is nothing but 20. So for clothes, the expenditure is 20. For salaries, it is 30. For allowances, it is 5. And housing, it is 
15 right so that is the expenditure either in terms of thousands or crores right so which of the following items accounts for the maximum expenditure during the years 1977 so 1977 to 1981 that is nothing but the blank one that is not filled one so salaries will be the correct answer option b will be the correct answer for this particular problem right a simple question then friends question number eight the amount of expenditure on education is approximately what fractions of the expenditure on machinery during 1977 to 1981 so this data they are telling okay so education where is education so education if you'll see how much expenditure so it is 15 to 30 that is nothing but 15. so in education my dear friends it is 15 thousands or 15 crores okay whatever and then machinery so machinery if you'll see so this is the data right so 30 to 50 that is nothing but 20 right so 20 crores or 20000 is the expenditure so 5 threes are and 5 fours are so option a will be the correct answer for the question number 8 okay so these are the level of the infosys problem which had happened in the september 2020 right okay now so if the total expenditure on housing is rupees 1125 crores during 1977 to 1981 so this data they are talking the total expenditure of on the machinery during the same period okay now so housing you see friends so housing is this so housing what is the total expenditure so housing the total expenditure is nothing but 15 but they are telling it is 1125 so 15 is equals to 1125 so 1 will be equal to 1125 divided by 15 now they are telling so the total expenditure on machinery okay so machinery is this and this is nothing but 20 right so 1 is equals to 1125 by 15 so 20 will become equal to so just multiply by 20 1125 divided by 15 and into 20 so 5 threes are and 5 four are and then 3 threes are will be 9 and 3 seven are will be 21 and 3 five are 4 fives are 20 4 7 are 28 plus 2 will be 30 and 4 threes are 12 plus 3 will be 15 okay so friends uh, basically this option is not correct here so the answer should be a numeric value in 199 uh, sorry 9999 so the answer will be nothing but 1500 right so the arms um, uh, 1500 crores so the amount spent will be nothing but 1500 crores right 1500 crores okay so friends i hope you understood this and uh, this was a very simple and explanatory session so you might have understood all the questions so please try to do question number six and put the answer i'll be waiting for your answers and friends if you think the classes are good please do comment below so that i'll be making more and more videos for you so friends i just wanted you all to get selected in uh, one of the mncs that is what our goal that is what our motto is nothing else and friends you can also check our infosys courses on our play store thank you friends and all the best for your infosys examination